Hi guys, so today I'll be making chicken biryani. I've got um, one chicken, one big chicken here, which I've cut and um, cleaned, just soaking, get in some water. What I'm gonna do in the meantime is prepare all the ingredients that I need for the chicken biryani. So I'm gonna start off with um, chopping three medium onions. Um, I will be grating the ginger, garlic, Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to grate the ginger and the garlic. I've got um, one big garlic here and about three pieces of ginger. Just going to grate that. You can blend the ginger and the garlic if you like, but um, I'm just grating it, it's just much easier. Also, you can use the um, packet ginger and garlic um, frozen cubes that you get from Tesco's and Asian shops. So my ginger is done. Just going to break the garlic now. So I finished grating my garlic and ginger. Um, if you're wondering why I haven't peeled my garlic, um, it's just, just to save time purely, that's all. Um, so I'm gonna start cutting the pepper. So you want one pepper, any color would do. Um, I just picked up an orange one. So I've just started to Dice my pepper. Oops. Okay, I'm going to leave that to the side. Okay, next is some coriander leaves. I'm just going to chop that finely. Side. I just want 
full green chili. Right guys, here are the ingredients I prepared earlier. So we've got the onion, the garlic, the ginger, a few cardamom pods, cumin seed, black seed, a few green chilies, um, coriander leaves, pepper, and we've got cinnamon sticks. Now the mixture I'm going to use for this biryani is this mixture by this brand. You can use any, any brand, but I just like to use this one. And we've got some chili flakes. Right now to cook the chicken, I've got some um, oil heating up here. What we're going to do is add cumin seeds, the black seeds. These are half a tablespoon each. Add in the four cardamom pods. Add in the garlic paste I'm going to give that a minute just going to let that cook for a few minutes and then I'll add in the onion the garlic ginger paste that I made the cumin seed, the black seed the bay leaves the um, cardamom pods, the cinnamon sticks, I'm just going to add in the onions now. on and let the onion brown for about 10 minutes and then back to my onion it's been cooking for 10 minutes um, I've added a teaspoon of salt earlier so I'm just going to add in one tablespoon of garam masala half a tablespoon of turmeric powder and half a tablespoon of chili powder one spoon of coriander powder and one spoon of cumin powder now you can leave out the chili powder if you want because um, because I'm using this brand, the mixture is quite spicy. So you can, if you don't like it very spicy, you can leave out the chili powder. Just going to give that a minute. I'm gonna add in my biryani mixture now. Um, this box, has two of these packets inside so what you want to do is you want to add in one whole one um, it really depends if you're making six cups of um, rice then you should add in one packet of this but if you're making less than six cups say about three cups then maybe add in half um, a packet of this I'm just going to mix that and then I'm going to pop the lid on, let that cook for, I'm just going to pop the lid on and let all the masala cook for 10 minutes. My masala has been cooking for 10 minutes guys, I've added some water because um, it was getting caught at the bottom. I'm just going to throw in the um, peppers we prepared earlier. Put 
the lid on. Wait for another five minutes. Back to the masala after five minutes. Um, gonna put in the chicken which I've cleaned and washed earlier. Just gonna put that in. Put that in there. put the lid on and I will let the chicken cook for 15 minutes come back to it after 15 minutes okay so the chicken's been cooking for 15 minutes on medium heat just gonna give that a stir I'm going to leave that on for another 15 minutes. The chicken is done, guys. Once the oil um, separates and all the water has evaporated, that's when you know the chicken's fully cooked and it's done. What I'm doing here is I'm just um, frying some onion to garnish the biryani in later on. Um, I'm going to use the same pan to cook the rice in it too. I'll show you guys that later. Also, I haven't added no yogurt in this um, chicken. Um, the reason being is because I don't have any yogurt at home. You can add yogurt, you don't have to. Um, so I've taken out the um, onions which I was frying earlier. Um, in the same pan, what I'm going to do is, this is to cook the rice, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in some black seed. some cumin seeds and some chili flakes just gonna let that brown add in two babies and one cinnamon stick garlic ginger paste and then my onion I've got two medium onions here and I'm just going to let that brown for 15 minutes. The onion's been cooking for 10 minutes. Just going to add in a tablespoon of salt. Let that brown a bit longer. My onions turn nice golden colour guys. Just going to add in my rice. Now, the rice I've soaked for an hour and I've drained the water and um, I've washed it before I've soaked it. This is just so that it just, um, the rice becomes more fluffy. So I'm just gonna add my rice in. I've got six cups of rice here. Put that in mix and I will let that uh, brown for 10 minutes. I've added in the green chilies. Just going to add in one whole lemon juice. The lemon juice is optional, you don't have to. I just like to add in one lemon juice just so that it gives it a nice flavour. Brings out all the lovely flavours in the biryani mixture. and let that brown a bit longer so my rice has turned lovely golden colour just going to add in my chicken that we made earlier 
Not a little of that in. Is it in there? I've poured some pepper water. I'm going to add in the pepper water. I've added some kettle water um, to the pan where we cook the chicken in. Um, so I'm just gonna add that in, just so that we don't lose any of the flavors. If you need more water, add more water. Don't add too much, otherwise the rice will become soggy. You don't want that. You want the rice to be nice and fluffy. put the lid on and cook for 15 minutes until the rice is cooked I've added in the coriander leaves too guys just gonna check the salt and um, this is the best time to check your salt if you need more salt you can add more salt mm, yeah that's fine The biryani is cooked guys just gonna garnish it with my fried onions that i fried earlier and there you have it chicken biryani